<laughs> welcome guys to another episode of the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and welcome to another sound mod episode. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I've been working on the sound mod um, in the past days since I uploaded the last um, episode. And especially today I've been working on it quite a lot. And I gotta say the externals are close to being finished right now except for the downshift sounds i have experimented with that uh, for quite a few hours now <laughs> and uh, the tricky thing is that the gearbox is so quick so as soon as i hit the pedal the gear is there um, if i just extend the shift time then it goes into neutral for a while and it just doesn't really work. What I need is I press the pedal and then there is just a delay and it does nothing for about 600 or 800 milliseconds and then it shifts relatively quickly. Um, I don't want to extend the shift time as a whole, I want to delay the shift time as it is right now. If anyone out there knows if that is possible and how I could do that, um, that would be awesome. But anyway, let me show you what the external sounds sound right now. We will go into the internals, which are in-game, but uh, a work in progress, let's say. I'm starting to think that I need a different mic to get the sound quality of the internal sounds just right. But I will show you what I have working in a second. It's not that bad, but uh, I think it needs to be better. Okay, this is a longer stretch. happy with that let's go into the internal view and let me show you what we have here um, first thing that you will notice we have uh, pedal sounds different for uh, the right pedal and the left pedal I actually recorded uh, I wanted to use four different samples for the pedals so that it's not always the same and I might still get that working but I had some trouble uh, troubles with that but anyway we have those you could hear the wind noise there a little bit as well I'm not super happy with the internal Backfiring samples. I think the external ones sound really, really good, but the internal ones, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not happy with them just yet. Some of them are too quiet. Some of them are a little bit too loud. Still, a lot of fine tuning to be done. There we heard the wind sound. Let's listen to that on the next straight a little bit. That is pretty good already. I still have to record the 260 km an hour sample uh, and the 300 once the speed limiter is gone. But Start to hear the wind. Uh, I think that needs to be a little bit louder still, but that's relatively easy to do. Um, yeah, so that is the current state of things. Now 
not super happy with the internal sounds. I gotta be honest. I mean, they were. But it needs to be better. I mean, obviously you're driving from the inside most of the time and not from the outside. So the internal sounds have to be better. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with the externals now, I gotta say. Um, I've used less samples now. These are just uh, three samples uh, combined together over a relatively long rev range. And I think it sounds pretty damn good. Just notice that the blend between off-throttle and on-throttle sounds is not perfect. Uh, Yeah, that needs to be a little bit better. But yeah, overall I like the external sounds now. I think the blend between the different samples is it's really, really good in this one. I like the backfiring, it mixes in really well with the off-throttle sounds. They don't sound out of place, which they still do in the internal sounds. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that a lot. Well, yeah, it's getting there, guys. So, internals still need a little bit more work. I'm not happy with that. Um, I am happy with the pedal sounds, actually. Um, I think that's a small detail that's, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I need to balance them. They're a little bit too loud, actually, now. But, uh, although, they're all right, I think. But yeah, other than that, the internal sounds still need more work. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's episode as well, which will be the comparison between Assetto Corsa with Sol and Shader Patches and Assetto Corsa Competizione, which should be pretty interesting, I think. Um, as always, if you want to reach me, you can do so by clicking the link on the Discord channel or checking my Twitter. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.